We looked in the last video at adding fields into a form. I'm just going to run through that process again very quickly. We put our fields in a table. We don't have to. It just helps keep things nicely aligned. We use a forms toolbar and choose which kind of field we want to add into our form. I'm going to choose a simple text form field. There's the field. We can then adjust the properties of the field using the form field options button. And here we can choose what type of field it's going to be, what kind of information that field is going to accept. I'm going to leave mine on text. We can put some default text in. Please enter name, for example. We can choose the length of the field and we can choose the formatting of the field. I'm going to choose uppercase. Then we click on OK. And then to make the field, to make the form work, we protect the form. So that to use a form, we can now enter the information into the field. And when we click away from that, it puts it into uppercase, which was the formatting that I had applied. I'm going to show one more additional feature now to these forms. So I just need to unprotect this and select my field again. And coming back into the properties for that field, it's the add help text feature that I want to show you. This is text that we can put in that will help the user to know what to enter into that field. And we can add this help into the status bar or we can add it onto the help key. So if users press F1, that information will appear. I'm going to put in the status bar and then we can type in any information here that we want to appear. We click on OK and OK again. Let's protect the form again. And you should now see that when we've got the field selected, the information in the status bar is changed just to read the information that we put in the help system. So it now says, please enter your name. So we'll go through that again very quickly. We'll unprotect the form so we can modify it. Let's select the date field this time. Alter the properties. Add some help text. Put on the status bar. Put in the helpful text, click on OK and OK. Protect the field, the form, sorry, I should say. Now when we select the fields, we've got the help in the status bar.